Max Verstappen is putting together the most dominant Formula 1 season we have ever seen, and his teammate isn't really putting up too much of a fight. But would anyone be able to match Max? Let's look at what makes him so fast compared to his teammate and decide if any other drivers could have at least made this season more difficult. The drivers that would probably be closest to catching Max Verstappen in the Red Bull would be Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso and Charles Leclerc, but to understand which would have the best chance of actually catching Max in the RB19, we need to understand what we're working with. Where this actually comes from, and he might be a tiny little bit biased considering he is the Red Bull team principal, but Christian Horner said he's driving at an unbelievable level. I don't think there's anybody in the world right now that could beat Max Verstappen in that car, and it's the in that car part of the quote that really caught my eye and makes this a lot more interesting because we're not talking about Ferrari or Mercedes catching up to the Red Bull, we're talking about a driver that would be able to get the same amount of performance from that RB19 car and that made me look into the RB19 car and the concept that the team have gone for. It is incredibly front end heavy and is right on the edge of peak performance a lot of the time. The car has such quick rotation, especially when it comes to slow corners, which basically means it's very sensitive going into those corners. It wants to change direction, which kind of sounds counterintuitive. Obviously, you want the car to change direction too, but any tiny input that you put into the car, it changes direction really quickly, and that makes the car really easy to oversteer into a corner and makes the inputs required from the driver incredibly delicate. At the end of the day, Adrian Newey and Red Bull are just making a car that is as fast as they can possibly make it. Yes, the development path has made it more and more front-end heavy and more and more sensitive when cornering. We can already see that just comparing the RB80 and the RB19, but I feel like they're just going for, even if the car is more difficult to drive, it's better overall. It's kind of the horse and bull analogy. Like you could get a horse, it's easier to ride and most people would be able to ride it, but overall it's got a lower top speed. Or you could buy yourself a bull. Not many people are gonna be able to tame it, but if they can, they are absolutely flying. On top of that, not only is the development path going that way, but also the upgrades at Red Bull come thick and fast. The whole team completely reformatted and reassessed itself after 2020. And we've seen from 2021 onwards and Max Verstappen winning every single championship that it's really clicked. So a driver coming into Red Bull not only has to find their groove in a tricky car, but also has to adapt quickly as those upgrades are going to keep being added to the car constantly. And overall what that means is that the RB19 would be really difficult to drive for a lot of drivers on the grid. Like the car is unstable and difficult to balance through the corners, especially when you're thinking about braking and then steering into the corner at the right angle and then getting the throttle down at the right time. It's really easy to lose the rear end of the car on the exit of the corner and therefore it's really easy to lose confidence because you want to get the throttle down, you want to release the power of that Red Bull engine in, but you're coming out of a corner and the rear end is just wiggling out from underneath you and I think that's what we've seen with Sergio Perez just a real lack of confidence in the car coming out of the corners especially post Monaco after that incident and the reason it's difficult to drive is because it's right on the edge of the performance window and of course that works you're getting the pinnacle of performance but if you make it slightly easier to drive you're losing out on a little bit of that edge that you have over the other teams now of course every driver has their tolerances Think Things that they can handle and things that they can't. That's what gives drivers their driving style and makes some drivers better to watch than others. But for me, Max Verstappen is probably one of the most adaptable drivers on the grid. I think you could pick Max Verstappen up, put him in any of the 10 cars on the grid and he'd get the best out of that car, where some drivers just don't have that. They need specifics. I think Daniel Ricciardo is the most recent example of that, where he didn't go from this incredible driver to absolutely awful. It was just he went from a Red Bull that he really understood to a McLaren car recently that he really couldn't get the best out of and unfortunately it seems like a car that is much closer to Sergio Perez's tolerances would be slower overall and therefore Red Bull aren't willing to move in that direction because there was a clear turning point in the season and I think it was back in Baku and I don't think it's a coincidence that that's the last race we saw Sergio Perez win in a Red Bull because obviously Max Verstappen had time behind Sergio Perez where he wasn't pushing on and putting his teammate under pressure and Max Verstappen actually said after the race that he was playing around with the settings to learn more about the car under race conditions, which has meant that since then, he's been so much quicker in the Red Bull car under those race conditions because he's adapted himself to the new settings within that Red Bull. 
And for me, it's in qualifying where it's most obvious that Max is just way more comfortable in that car. Like Red Bull don't really design qualifying cars. They've always favored race trim and it's always been difficult to nail a qualifying lap in a Red Bull. But Sergio Perez has shown he can adapt to the Red Bull car in the races. He always seems to move forwards in the pack, but he's really struggled in qualifying this year. Whereas Max has still been able to get the best out of the car in the most difficult conditions. And that's been the real thing that separated the two. I think all being said, it's not a huge slight on Checo that he isn't as quick as Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen has found a window within that car where he makes a very pointy car work for him and a very difficult car look easy to drive. And it suits his style way more than Sergio Perez. But where Sergio Perez prefers a car that is really accurate, especially on the exit of corners, he's not going to get that in the Red Bull. And because Max is more comfortable, he's adapting to the changes more quickly as well as the upgrades are coming, which is has just meant that the gap between the two of them has only gotten larger and larger as the season has progressed. But is there any driver that would actually be able to take the fight to Max Verstappen? I think realistically, we're looking at the number ones in the biggest team. So Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso are the three that are always discussed in this argument, I would say. And I want to break down who would be best at battling Max Verstappen in the same car, in my opinion. Like, of the three, let's start with Charles Leclerc. He is undoubtedly quick. I would say, on his day, the quickest of the three candidates. His qualifying record speaks for itself, and he's one of the best at putting together that like elusive, perfect lap that we are all aiming for in qualifying. He is just so, so quick, and actually, he does like a very pointy front end and would be really good in this Red Bull car, I think, with the underlying style that it has. But with Leclerc, there's always the question of handling a tricky car that is right on the limit. Because as I mentioned before, that Red Bull is designed to be right on the limit of performance and whether he would finish enough races to really push Verstappen to the limit. And I, I don't mean to be harsh on Charles Leclerc, but we've seen him push beyond the limits of that Ferrari quite often over the last few seasons. OK, he's trying to extract pace from a Ferrari car that isn't the fastest on the grid and is pushing himself beyond the limit of the Ferrari because he's trying to close the gap to the Red Bulls in front and maybe that changes when he knows that he is in the fastest car on the grid and doesn't have to strain for that final hundredth, that final tenth every single lap but I just feel over the course of a season, he doesn't have that ruthlessness that needs to be there to beat Max Verstappen. Like, I just don't think he would be able to win 10 in a row like we've seen Max Verstappen do this year. Whereas when it comes to Lewis Hamilton, I think it's a more interesting conversation because he has that ruthlessness. He's a seven-time world champion. He knows what it takes to get the points on the board, get the victories and come away with the trophy at the end of the year. And you'd imagine it would be really easy to pick up Lewis Hamilton and just put him in a Red Bull and he would still be able to match Max Verstappen but we've seen over the course of this year he's come unstuck a little bit when the rear end of the Mercedes has been unstable and he's been on the radio quite a lot wanting more rear end from the Mercedes car so Hamilton's aggressive style like when he's coming into corners and hitting apexes hard it might be quite difficult to do that in the RB19 I suppose it comes down to how consistent the lack of rear end is in the Red Bull and if Hamilton would be able to get on top of that like if he gets used to the rear instability if it's quite a common rear instability I think he'd be quick enough to match Max Verstappen in the Red Bull I think Max Verstappen and I'd back Verstappen to have the better of the qualifying pace I think Verstappen would still out qualify Lewis Hamilton in the Red Bull but I think when it came to the races Lewis Hamilton would be right there with Max Verstappen like breathing down his neck every single Grand Prix although I still don't think he's the best opponent for Max Verstappen over the course of an entire season because Fernando Alonso would be top of my list of the candidates that would be closest to Max Verstappen in the RB19 as the season progresses because it just seems like he's the most adaptive driver on the whole grid. I think he extracts pace from whatever car he is given because his racecraft and race intelligence is just a level above everybody else's and obviously that comes from experience and the fact that he's moved around the grid a lot more. I think Lewis Hamilton, the fact that he's only been at two teams kind of plays against him coming into the Red Bull, whereas Fernando Alonso has just been at so many teams and been fast in every single one of them. And I think if he goes into that team, he's got the kind of personality and the arrogance to kind of match Max Verstappen in the garage too. And in fact, I think Verstappen and Alonso are very similar in the fact that they have 
no remorse for killing a teammate off. Like both of them have done it consistently over the course of their careers. And they both ended many drivers Formula One careers. And he's just well-rounded enough to get to grips with the RB19, match Max Verstappen. I think Max Verstappen would still, again, have probably the better qualifying pace. And I think that would be the case for basically everybody on the grid apart from Charles Leclerc. But I would back Alonso to level up in the races, similar to Lewis Hamilton, but then also use a little bit of the dark arts to get the one-upmanship on Max Verstappen. I mean, at the end of the day, this Max Verstappen season will go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest season from a driver individually. And any driver in that Red Bull car would struggle to match Max Verstappen. Like he and the car are just at one with each other so often. And when you witness something like this, you do just have to say, OK, we are witnessing greatness. And he is almost at the point where he is close to untouchable. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Who do you think would be able to match Max Verstappen the closest? Do you think it's Leclerc, Hamilton, Alonso, somebody else? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I also put together this video here. So click that link and I'll see you over there.